All right, Shalom. In this episode, you know, uh, we're dealing with the Canada to imprison anyone who has ever posted hate speech online. All right, basically, and um, you know, again, another instance of um, these devils coming down with great wrath, knowing that they have a short time. All right, you know, um, but before we start it up, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful let beginning with the 144,000 men. You know, um, yeah, we in that time, brothers, you know, and sisters. All right. You know, we in that time, you know, for the, for the brothers in Canada, you know, our prayers go out, you know, because um, for these for these devils, you know, basically coming up for the draconian laws again. Isaiah. 10 and 1. All right. Let me read some of this article. It says the Trudeau regime has introduced an Orwellian new law called the Online Harms Bill C63, which will give police the power to retroactively search the internet for hate speech violations and arrest offenders. So they're not only going forward, you know, what 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 was we preached after, because we know that the men of the Lord. You know, what we preach is considered so-called hate speech. Alright? So they want to go back now and pull our old videos. Which is what the devils want to do anyway. To basically arrest us. You know, basically and say it's an offense. It says even if the offense occurred before the law existed. So we know right off the bat, you know, who they're who they aiming at. You know, they have the bots, the robots, the AI robots going back. You know, and deleting our videos one by one. All right, you know, they, they, you know, oh, ever so often you just scan um, a notification from YouTube telling you that, you know, you know, this video has been deleted, but it's not striking. Your video is from four years ago, three years ago, you know, etc. And we understand what it is. We understand that these devils, you know, they hurt from this word, you know, and they want to see the, the, the gospel put on end. But we know at the end of the day, it's not them. It's the Lord who's doing this. All right. The Lord is doing this says this new bill is aimed at safeguarding the masses from so-called hate speech rare right you know and in word mass means death all right which we know they, um this is going back into the, those devils those 1948 ers you know and the fear that they feel when they hear us preaching this word because why we know they know it's their ass they know the time has come all right you know and they you best believe they in great fear. All right, let's get some precepts here. Uh, let's go and then write anything down. Let's go and the spirit of the Lord. Um, this book of um, Salakia, so yeah, this thing is um, giving some trouble. Salakia so yeah, for that. Let me try to start it back again. It's up. Uh, let's get the book of Revelation, chapter 11. On the 8th verse. Let's see, let's see. Ah, verse 11. Revelation 11 and 11. It says, And after three days and a half, which is 350 years, the Spirit of life from the Heavenly Father entered into them, the Holy Spirit, and gave us back the understanding, right, which they were shocked about, you know. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So these devils are afraid. They're like an animal, which you saw Edom is the beast man, so called white man, all right. And they're in big, they're in great fear. So guess what they do? And they um, they they like a cornered animal, right? They're gonna strike out. And this this is exactly what's taking place. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. This is what we we witnessing. It says, "Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness." And they can't understand for the life of them how we, we these men, which are low life, so called low lives, you know, in society, we we not on any level. We not so called um uh, um high level men males. All right, you know, you know, but yet we standing in great boldness in front of their face, before the face of such as have afflicted him, which is what he saw Edom, the so-called white man, right, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. So they they just seen us preaching this word on the highways and the byways, doing the videos, the sit downs, and they 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 in terrible fear. You best believe that these devils are in terrible fear they're shaking in their boots right and they rightfully so right because they, 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 pretty much the ass is grass when our lord comes 
It says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. So this is what these devils be about. And they, 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 you best believe they're real afraid. Let's continue here. It says, um, um, the real shocker is this bill is the alarming retroactive aspect, right? Which is, which is um, wickedness, right? Essentially, whatever you've said in the past could now be weaponized against you by today's draconian standards, right? The dragon, the red dragon, going back. That's what, he's, that's what the scripture say. Um, the scripture said they, um, they speak as a lamb, speak as a lamb, as a lamb, All right? Let's get this. It's King James. HAV. And I beheld another beast. Okay. Revelation 13 and 11. Let's get out there. Book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. But he, he looked like a lamb. But he spake as a dragon. Going back into the Republican and Democratic system. All right. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. How true is what is draconian laws? Whose deadly wound was healed. Right? So this is this this is the same devil, the same beast, the same dragon. Right? Speak as a dragon. What, what a dragon is? A dragon is an extreme animal. Right? A dragon could just could blow fire on you and burn you up. Alright? Through the word, the words. You know, as a is a is a, is a sharp pointed sword. All right, in wickedness on the left hand side. Okay, this is what it is. And they are the ones now coming with this this wickedness, retroactive wickedness, which is and everything you know that I just said wickedness. All right, Habakkuk, one, and um, and verse um. Three, it says, Why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and they are that raise up strife and contention. Right? That's what they're doing. Alright? Destruction and violence to put the elect to death. That's what they intend they, they want to do. Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment that never go forth for the wicked that come pass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong. Judgment proceed at wrong judgment retroactive so called hate speech, which, which you know, at the end of the day, you know, is a bunch of lies. We saw Edom is, is a liar, he goes astray as soon as he be born speaking lies. Psalm 50 the 53, you know, 50, 58, so like, yeah, all right, you know, it says, um, historian Dr. Muriel believe has weighed in on this draconian law, labeling it outright mad. So these devils, they, 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 that's what I'm saying, based on the fear they have, they're mad. Right? They're angry too. She points out how it literally spits in the face of all Western legal traditions, especially the one about only being punished if you infringe on a law that was valid at the time of committing a crime. But this is what these devils move into. This is going to be the dystopian nightmare. All right? It says the Canadian law proposal is outright mad. It is retroactive, which goes against all blah, blah, blah. The same thing we just read, right? And it isn't just stuff we posted after the new law comes into force. You can get in trouble. You can get in trouble for, oh no, but anything you've posted ever dating back to dawn, to the dawn of the internet. In other words, it's a cold embossed invitation to offense archaeologists to do their worst, right? And they have the people who go back and trace those things. This is the reason why they did all the transcript on your videos, all these things. Then they know what they were coming with. Right? They do these things gradually. Gradualism. Right? It says with the prospect of a 20,000 reward if they hit pay dirty. If they hit pay dirt. Right? Um, the only way to protect yourself is to go through all your social media accounts and painstakingly delete anything remotely controversial you ever said. And there is, there is worse. Although you won't protect Although that won't protect you, protect you from another clause in the bill, and and this is where it trips over into as yet unimagined dystopian territory. If the courts believe you are likely to commit a hate crime or disseminate hate propaganda, 
not defined you can be placed under house arrest and your ability to communicate with others restricted and just you know just for the for youtube you know this 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 is a disclaimer all right copyright disclaimer and disclaimer you know that this is this video is just for educational purposes you know i don't receive any money or anything from this for this video all right I just 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 reading an article all right so so hey this this and that's more and more wickedness coming out more and more wickedness coming out but you know hey everything is written and look at this devil's face this fucking devil all right let's get the book of psalms psalm chapter 94 and verse 20 it reads shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by a law right you know they frame mischief by a law like this law here right it says they got they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous right and condemn the innocent blood this is what these devils doing right they in the nlt verse 21 it says they gang up against the righteous and condemn the innocent blood this is what they about you know and um you know it, uh, this also goes into the death penalty that trump is coming out with now i'll do a separate video on that lord willing all right uh, you know this is what these devils be going into all right they, they basically want to take our blood you know they 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 they, they, they drunk with the blood of the saints verse 22 says but the lord is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness yea the lord yahweh our power shall cut them off the lord is going to cut them off all right they're going to be cut off in the wickedness all that they done against us okay that's just facts okay and all this persecution we're gonna be going through and then best best believe it's coming all right you know it's a blessing unto us because it's gonna give us the fruits of what the kingdom all right john chapter 15 verse 18 it reads if the world hates you you know that it hated me before it hated you if you were of the world the world would love his own but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And this is outright persecution. Alright? As they say, madness. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they will, they know not him that sent me. Alright? You know, and this is what it is. They they they, they hate the men who rebuke in the gate. They hate him who rebuke at in the gate. Alright? Um is it um the book of uh is it uh, the book of uh, Amos? Amos five around the tenth verse. Yeah, it says Amos five and ten, they hate him who rebuke it in the gate. They are poor him that speak it uprightly. Yeah, they're going back into wisdom of Solomon too. You know, this is why they're going to bring in this so-called hate speech law. You know, basically, on um, you know, on this shit that you're seeing before you, this ugly piece of shit there. All right. You know. All right. The Lord is the Lord. Word is what we're preaching, and this is what they want to do. All right. Let's get one more precept. Maybe Lord willing, and close this out. Book of First Peter, chapter four, verse thirteen. It reads, "But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of a Mashiach Yahweh sufferings, that when His glory shall be revealed, ye sh ye may be glad also with exceeding joy." So you know, as much as we taken again being persecuted, I mean during the suffering, ye have we have to be in the spirit of rejoicing. All right now if ye be reproached right insulted you know and these laws put against you to put you in prison for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of power rested upon you on their part he is evil spoken of but on your part he is glorified but let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or evil do as a bit in other men's more let's go into another topic but as you glorify the lord the lord is going to glorify you in scripture talk about you know those who held first firm name kept firm the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai Mashiach 
to the end. You know, so stood so stiffly for the name, even unto death. And there's a great reward coming for that. So hey, to hell with them. Hold fast, stay strong. You know, we soon out of here. Alright? And these devils, they're gonna be slaves. Alright? With that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I wanna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Till next time, Shalom.